About 50 million students are going back to America's public schools this year. They walk into brewing controversies over common core standards, teacher tenure, and technology for the classroom that may have overpromised and underdelivered. Los Angeles, the country's second largest school district, announced overnight it's suspending a billion dollar programming program giving every student an iPad. Joel Klein served as chancellor of New York City schools. He's now CEO of Amplify, which creates and sells a digital curriculum and tablets. Welcome back to Studio 57. Good morning. Good morning. Great to be back. Let's let's talk about this because you were you're selling a curriculum and the tablets which essentially deliver it. How important do you think technology is to the future of education in this country? If done right, it's really important. In and of itself, there's nothing magical about technology. What's magical is about teaching and learning. And our technology is all about teaching and learning. It's not replacing teachers. It's not about taking a textbook and digitizing it. What it is is about giving teachers the tools they need, the supports, the kind of things that the kids really want to get engaged. You know, kids who are bored, kids who are disengaged are not going to learn. But there's nothing about technology that's magical. And I think we need to learn it. That's why our curriculum, which is like nobody's ever seen, is the most exciting thing I've been involved with in a long time. But that was a plan too, Joel, in Los Angeles. Why do you think it didn't work there? Because, you know, Los Angeles is a city on the move doing big things in education. They've gotten real improvements for kids in a very challenged environment. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you do a big thing and you have to hit the pause button. Not every big thing works exactly as you want it to work. Mm -hmm. I think they hit the pause button. We'll take a refresher. But I want to make one thing clear. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is really about curriculum, about sequencing learning, about saying to teachers, you know, this child is moving very quickly. This child is moving slowly. You should know that. This child has gotten a lot of feedback in your classroom. This child has gotten none. This kid is struggling with these vocabulary words. This kid is struggling with very different words. Those are the things technology can do. We had kids and trying to... And you can see it specifically on their, on their computers. Absolutely. So you know exactly it, what you're dealing it with. It gives an enormous amount of data to teachers. And yeah. some people say it may even give too much data to teachers. I, I think that's a risk. I think you want to give data that's helpful. Remember, this is about helping empower teachers to do their work better. Mm -hmm. If you flood them, it's going to be utterly useless. If you give them data that says, for example, you've mastered 300 words this semester. I've only mastered 150. Right. We need to make sure Joel gets his vocabulary up. That's helpful. If you give them long papers and charts, it's not going to work. Let's be smart about what we're doing, and let's make sure that we get teachers behind it. Everything we do, we develop with teachers and students. We play test it. We try it out. We learn so much that way. That's why I think this belief that there's something magic about technology is a really misbelief. In fact, there was a study that was just out that showed that if you read something on a device, you're less likely to remember it than, you know, reading a book. So how do you know if students are getting their information from tablets that they're retaining this information? Very simple. You give them quick assessments right there built in. You have to use this in a way that really engages kids. If you simply put them in front of a tablet or in front of a computer, it's not going to work. And well, that, that's why I think the hype is not helpful. I think the thoughtful work has to take place. You can certainly feel your passion. You said exhilaration is a dominant emotional force in me right now. This is what exhilaration looks like on you, right? <laughs> Being with you guys is exhilarating. <laughs> Go on. Nice.